Abs is pulling out of its proposed high-tech neighborhood development on Toronto's waterfront. The Google affiliate was attempting to develop a sensor-laden smart neighborhood called Keyside, but met stiff resistance from privacy. In a post online, the Sidewalk Lab CEO blamed unprecedented economic uncertainty for the project's cancellation. Ontario Premier Doug Ford addressed the sudden cancellation today. It's unfortunate the company Sidewalk had to pull out. But there's endless opportunities for other people to come in there and do something again spectacular uh, for the waterfront of Toronto. For more on this, we're joined by Shruti Shikhar, telecom and tech reporter for Yahoo Finance Canada. Okay, so just tell us a little bit more about this project for those who aren't familiar with it. So the project has actually been, uh, you know, kind of in development for 2.5 years and uh, a lot has actually gone into into the planning process. You know, what would the small uh, smart city look like? There would be heated pavements, there would be raincoats, uh, you know, there would be an amalgamation between living spaces and retail spaces. And so I think that was sort of the the plan and there was a proposal that was put forth and uh, there was going to be a, an announcement that was going to happen on May 20th in terms of whether or not uh, Google Google Sidewalk Labs was going to be going forward with this project. And obviously now today we've learned that the project is not going forward uh, due to uh, COVID-19 and, and the economic struggles that, that a lot of industries have been facing. And so uh, it's unfortunate uh, because it's been 2.5 years, two and a half years. That's a really long time for uh, planning this kind of uh, futuristic smart city. Yeah, and like you said, they've they've already put a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of money into it. So uh, just tell us more about uh, their reasoning for pulling out. They're sort of putting it on COVID-19. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's not just uh, surrounding the idea of having to build uh, or create a, a brand new uh, infrastructure, uh, but it's also tapping into the retail space. Um, uh, the retail, or, or rather, rather the housing market is also not doing that great. And so I think because of these... Uh, reasons, uh, Don, Don Doctorov decided that it was time to kind of pull out of the project. And, uh, you know, there were 30 people staffed working at the at the location downtown Toronto. Um, there was a lot of research going into it. And so it, it's definitely unfortunate. I mean, I think we're kind of noticing a lot of industries facing uh, these economic struggles because of COVID-19. And just, it, it's not even about whether or not we're going to hear uh, those uncertainties lift in the next week or so. We kind of don't really know when these uncertainties are going to lift. And that's kind of trickling down to so many industries like retail sector, the housing market, as, as I mentioned earlier. And so I, that was sort of the main reason for why this entire project kind of got pulled out. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the project itself, because it's faced a lot of controversy over the last two and a half years. Yes, it has. A lot of privacy uh, advocates have suggested that the way that, uh, you know, the privacy would be, or rather the information that would be collected from residents that would be living in this space was a little questionable, you know, collecting location data, collecting private information, and uh, how that was collected and who was owning that that information. And I think a lot of criticism was going around that entire process and aspect. And uh, as, as transparent as uh, Sidewalk Labs was trying to be, I don't think advocates were, were really feeling that they were being transparent enough. And there wasn't a lot of information coming out of how uh, they were going to be handling the data of, of individuals that would be potentially living in the smart city. Mm, so given the controversy and the fact that they're now pulling out, do you think we'll see any more projects like this, perhaps in that area in the future even? Uh, One hundred percent. I mean, you also heard uh, Toronto Mayor John Tory had ac had actually said today that uh, he was very upset uh, that you know Am that that this project was was not going forward, but uh, didn't lose hope in the idea that something like Keyside would happen with maybe another developer uh, and working with Waterfront to ensure that a smart city would happen. And we should be uh, it should be known that Canada is a leader in technology, and having a smart city like this would be very beneficial for, uh, you know, any developer or uh, the tech industry to create new jobs, to create, uh, you know, this really cool futuristic city. So I don't necessarily think that it's going to end or it's going to completely be out of the question. But I think, uh, I guess time will tell to see if this project will reopen or not. Time will tell. Telecom and tech reporter for Yahoo 